What up though, y'all? It's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me while I do these 10,000 steps. It's a little bit of a windy day out here. Bear with me. It's chilly. It's a uh, steady inching up to hoodie season. So y'all gonna be seeing me wear these a lot more. I got a little bit left with the with the t-shirts and tanks, but hoodie season is a coming. So let me talk to y'all, man. Let's talk about uh, body game. I think that's a that's a good one. But let's talk about body game. All right, you need to get jacked. I want you to get jacked. I want that for you. Um, why do I why do I want that for you? Because I personally every day reap the benefits of being a jacked male and it is fantastic and i want that for you too see i'm not going to tell you like other people oh it doesn't matter it's not that important yes it is it really is it's it's important it's important for you you know uh the way the world reacts to you male or female the way the world reacts to you when you're a, a very fit guy you're perceived as being an attractive guy it's just night and day difference versus when you're not perceived that way. So I want that for you. And I can give you some examples, of course. You know, when I'm when I'm out and about, yeah, I could be at the mall, I could just be downtown like I am. When women see me, they typically look at me. And I'm not saying this to be cocky or arrogant in any way, shape, or form. That's just what is. Women look at me. You know, I'm a guy, I'm wearing a size large t i'm wearing you know short shorts because you know i'm usually out here working out getting my steps in women look at me you know why they look at me because i'm a fit attractive guy and in uh, most cases the guy who they're going home to or the guy who they're about to see later on that evening for their date or the guy who they're even out with right then and there is not so I want that for you. I want you to be that guy who is the is the head turner, the guy who the ladies notice. Guys, guys size me up all the damn time. It doesn't matter if I'm at Costco. It doesn't matter if I'm standing in line, uh, you know, just at McDonald's to get my sweet tea. Yeah, I know you shouldn't eat McDonald's and I shouldn't be drinking the sweet tea, but we all got our vices, right? But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter where I am. I could be standing in line somewhere. I could just be walking. Uh, you know, I could just be getting getting in my truck after, you know, picking my son up from somewhere. Ladies notice me and the dudes do too. Dudes typically size me up. You know, they look at me, you know, they do a down and they do a, a head look. I mean, guys, we do this. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're about to do something or you're intimidated by them in any way. Just guys, when we see one another, we kind of do size size them up right quick. Just look at the guy that's that's near us. That's just our 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 thing. I don't think anything uh, of it, and I'm sure they don't think anything of it. They just do it, and I can't walk that way because we got something going on over there with some kitties or something. So I'm just keep walking this way. Maybe they'll be gone when I have to come back around. There's always some stuff going on around here, man. But as I were, okay, good. I can walk this way because nobody's there. Sometimes people want to get all types of pictures in everywhere. I have to, you know, tiptoe around and not get in their way because I want them to get whatever they're trying to do done. Get their awesome photographs. As for men sizing me up, you know, it just is what it is. Guys, they just do that. One thing I have noticed, though, is that what appears to happen is that the guys, when they look at me, they immediately self-assess. You know, they look at me, I'm tall, I've got all my hair, I'm in shape. They immediately start self-assessing, especially if it's a guy that's shorter, he's, he's, he's starting to bald or has been balding and he's not in shape. You know, seeing me is a reminder that they've fallen off or they need to get back on, on board or they need to grind harder. They haven't been doing as much as they can in terms of uh, body goals and self-improvement. And that may sound like a lot to assume, but that's what it is. 
as a man, I know this. That's what it is. When you see a man that you perceive to be at a higher level than you, you immediately self-assess. Like, this guy has this going for him, and I don't. And what can I do to close the gap? Now, they may not do anything about it afterwards, but that's immediately where they're going to go. They're going to self-assess. And, uh, you know, they, they basically are measuring themselves against you. I want that for you. I want you to be the guy that the women are checking out and the guys are comparing themselves to. I absolutely want that for you. That's why I be, you know, hammering this uh, with you guys about self-improvement, about getting the gym, about eating better, about becoming the best version of yourself. I don't just say this stuff because I like the sound of my own voice. I mean, I do like the sound of my own voice, but I'm saying this because I want you to do it too. You guys, my extended tribe, I want the exact same results for you. Maybe even better results than me. You know, some of you might have a little more free time than me, a little bit more access to the gym. You might have a home gym. You might have, you know, more money than me already to where you can already uh, do certain things, you know, buy certain foods, get certain supplements, whatever it is. And you can, you can do better than me. And I'm totally fine with that. I want that for you. I want maximum results for you. No one else does. I certainly do. So you need to get jacked. Really. You need to get jacked. The world just totally responds differently when you are a, a fit male. Uh, I'll give you another example. I was at a, I was at the Pistons game. You know, I go to the, see the Pistons regularly. Um, you know, I go see the Red Wings too, but not nearly as much as, as the uh, Pistons. I go to my seats. There's like, you know, some guy and, and his chick sitting there. And I double check to look at my phone to make sure these are the right seats. They are, of course. So, you know, I just politely, I'm like, um, uh, you guys are in my, in my seats. And uh, the guy is like, uh, what, what, uh, what seats are yours? And I told him, he was like, is it in section such and such? I was like, yeah, that's this section. The section you just named is over there across the aisle. He was like, okay. And then he just got up and he took off. And it was a guy sitting behind him. And he said to me, people don't typically argue with you, do they? And I was like, no, I, I suppose not. And I, that, that, really, that really hit me because people typically don't. In person, people typically don't. People can say whatever online because it's online. There's no... There's no fear of any sort of violence uh, online. But in person, you know, people know they can only get so rude before it might be something. Now, I'm not a violence first sort of person. I was years ago, but I've evolved from that now. But I mean, he really did give me to thinking. People don't typically argue with me. And it's not because I'm just some, you know, uh, gangster, some rough and tough guy. It's just that the way I look how tall I am, I have a physically imposing, you know, presence. And so as a result, that kind of deters a lot of different BS that you otherwise would have to deal with. If I was some scrawny guy that was shorter and didn't walk with great posture, just didn't have the aura that I have, I likely would have more negative experiences in day to day than I do, but I don't because I have those things going on for me and I want those things for you as well. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope that lands because I really, truly want that for you guys as well. So as always, appreciate y'all connecting with me. I'm going to continue to do these steps. Thumbs up this. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll holler at y'all soon. Peace.